Hi my friend, I'm Dan Hammer and in this video we're going to talk about two natural amino acids that must be part of your daily diet. One is fairly common and one is not, but together they make a significant difference in preventing the complications of diabetes. As I shared with you in the previous video, Dr. J. Joseph Prendergast has pioneered this second approach to preventing the complications of diabetes. The first approach centers on controlling blood sugar. This is extremely important. Unfortunately, many diabetics still end up with cardiovascular health issues that lead to poor circulation, poor kidney function, high blood pressure, heart disease, and an increased risk for stroke and heart attacks. Why? Because of the continued damage to the endothelial cells that over time reduces their ability to properly produce nitric oxide, which is the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. This molecule is key to your health, and we'll examine this in greater detail in our next video. For this video, I want you to understand how your endothelial cells use two natural amino acids to produce this vital molecule called nitric oxide. The first amino acid is L-arginine. It's considered an essential amino acid. This means that your body cannot produce it by itself. Thus, you need to get your L-arginine from the foods you consume. As you can see by the PowerPoint slide, I've listed some common food sources in which to obtain this essential amino acid. Let me make a few general comments. Most research indicates that for you to receive a therapeutic benefit from L-arginine, you need to consume at least 5 grams of this amino acid at one time. So I selected 6 food items that I thought would be common food choices. I did the math conversions to look at how much food you would need to eat to take in 5 grams of L-arginine. I also looked at the number of calories and the grams of fat it would bring into your body. As you can see by the slide, peanuts provide the smallest quantity of food but they pack on 70 grams of fat and 918 calories. When you examine this slide, you can see that the three best choices are beans, tuna, or chicken breast. One can of beans, or two cans of tuna, or almost one pound of chicken are needed on a daily basis. This quantity of food is necessary to have a significant therapeutic effect on your endothelial cells and their ability to properly produce nitric oxide. The other amino acid is L-citrulline. There is not much of a choice in foods for this amino acid. Watermelon is your one and only good food choice. Unfortunately, 60% of the L-citrulline is contained in the rind portion of the watermelon, which most people never eat you would have to eat over a pound of watermelon to get even close to the amount of L-citrulline your body would need for a therapeutic effect. When people realize all the food they need to eat and the limited menu they have to choose from, they begin to ask the question, is it better to get these critical amino acids through food or supplementation? Well, I stopped at a local health food store. Most carry L-arginine supplements but L-citrulline is a little harder to find. To get a therapeutic effect from supplementation, you typically would need 10 capsules of L-arginine and 2 capsules of L-citrulline. Comparing costs between food and supplementation, your total daily food cost could range from $2.50 to $7, depending upon whether it's organic or processed food. Your supplement cost is usually around $2. So supplementation cost you less, plus it doesn't have the added concern of fat grams and calories to your diet. Now I need to make one more important point about these two amino acids. When you bring in a therapeutic level of L-arginine, it typically results in a 30 minute to 2 hour window of improved nitric oxide production. When you combine your L-arginine with L-citrulline, you increase this therapeutic production of nitric oxide to 24 to 36 hours. This has huge health benefits, especially for those with diabetes or other types of cardiovascular health issues. 
In our next video, I'll help you understand why nitric oxide is so important to your cardiovascular system and reducing the complications of diabetes. If you have any questions about this information or need to contact me, then please either email me or call me directly. My contact information is listed on the screen. Or contact the person who turned you on to this video series. We're part of a team whose mission is to save a million lives. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video as I, dis as I share with you this vital information about nitric oxide and how critical it is to your cardiovascular health.